Today on the Bass Channel, we are checking out the Iron Horse version 3 from Walrus Audio. Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is the Bass Channel. My name's Dave, and like I said, we are checking out the Iron Horse version 3 today. One thing you're gonna notice about this horse right out of the gate is that it's not a dedicated or specified bass distortion. And as such, it's a little bit more geared toward the higher end frequencies of your tone. So what we've done for our test riffs is we've used the Electro Harmonics Tri-Parallel Mixer to bring in a clean low end signal to blend with. Now the Tri-Parallel Mixer has EQ on all of its channels, so what we've done is we've darkened up the clean signal so that we don't have a lot of clean high end competing with the Iron Horse. No EQ has been applied to the mixer channel that the Iron Horse is on so that you're getting the full spectrum of frequencies out of it. So as I mentioned, this is version three of the Iron Horse. And what's different in version three? Well, predominantly it is the fact that instead of a switch to choose between clipping modes, you now have a knob. So you can infinitely blend between silicon and LED clipping. In addition to the new blend knob between the clipping modes, there's also top mounted jacks now and a soft touch switch that doesn't click. And they've corrected the issue that some may have experienced with a volume drop off when the distortion knob was at minimum. After testing so many overdrives, distortions, and fuzzes, I personally am very partial to the LED clipping sound. If you're familiar with the old Turbo Rat or the MXR M85, then you're familiar with LED clipping and what that sounds like. And that's really what I like the most uh, on this pedal. But check out all these different tones and all the sample settings and see what you like. A lot of people are tempted every time they get a new distortion pedal to just crank the gain all the way up and play like that. But for bass tones, especially with the test riffs that we've got on hand, we've dialed in what we think are a nice variety of different sounds at lower gain, which makes it sound a little bit more amp-like and definitely a little bit more natural in the mix.
what Walrus says about their own pedal. The Iron Horse is our take on a classic distortion circuit that's thick, punchy, riffy, and rowdy. And sleepy and bashful and dark. With the help of the silicon LED knob and a wide range of the distortion knob, this true bypass high gain behemoth can be finely tuned for clear overdriven sounds or let the reins loose for a full on distorted onslaught. between silicon and LED clipping. When the knob is set to the left, the distorted signal will be using silicon clipping diodes, adding a high amount of compression. Rotating the knob to the right will bring in LED clipping and a smaller amount of compression. Putting the knob at noon will blend between the two using different ratios of the silicon and LED clipping diodes for more complex clipping sounds. Note. Since the silicon LED knob is changing the internal gain and clipping style, the other controls will behave slightly differently as well. You will need to use the volume knob to adjust the overall output up or down depending on where you have the knob set. Now I think we should talk about something that is kind of important, near and dear to our hearts here at the Bass Channel. Some of you out there are a little bit concerned. Why are you doing bass reviews on a guitar pedal? Well, the answer to that is, hey, any pedal is good for any instrument. You just need to figure out exactly how to set it up. That's basically where we come from. When we look for pedals to review and demo, we look all over the musical spectrum because if you limit yourself to stuff that just says bass on it, you're missing out on a whole bunch of different sounds. Um, some of my favorite, my personal favorite distortions from the late 80s, early 90s. Sounds great on bass, but you're gonna need to blend in some clean low end 
just so that you're not dropping out of the mix. There's a bunch of, uh, big muffs weren't designed for bass, but you know, how often are they used? So the more you know, and they would do the, the more you know thing. Which brings us back to the pedal of the day. The Iron Horse sounds really awesome. You just need to give it a little bit of that clean low end to support it. And that was the Iron Horse V3 from Walrus Audio. Listen, uh, you know what? Subscribe if you like this kind of content. If you want to see bass reviews, bass demos on pedals that you might have thought, oh, hey, I wonder what that pedal sounds like. But obviously, that's not all we are here. We're just in it for the love of bass guitar. So we've got uh, Josh doing heavy metal covers. We've got... The, the bass demos, we've got amp demos, we've got obviously the pedal demos. And if you'd like to feel personally attacked by whether or not our executive producer thinks active pickups are better than passive pickups, go ahead and subscribe and you get more of that kind of stuff too. We love everybody who watches, we love everybody who subscribes, but if you don't wanna subscribe, that's okay too, do what you like. It's just all about sharing our musical experiences and sometimes our technological experiences as well. Uh, either way, my name's Dave from the Bass Channel. We'll see you next time.